Hi friends, the skein method which is to determine the yarn's linear density covers the determining linear density of wound yarns. The yarn's linear density is its mass per unit length. In this test we are going to use reels, acryl, scissors and a precise balance for the samples that we take. Our sample has already been conditioned at stable atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. One to two meters of the conditioned test sample are discarded. This test can be applied to single ply, multi ply, and cable yarns. The bobbin is installed into the bobbin placement apparatus. Then we get a constant tension over the yarn on the creel. A cycle of the reel is one meter long. We reset our screen. We turn the handle in a fixed speed. Five samples can be tested simultaneously. The yarn is wound in a length reversely proportional to its linear density, that is, for 12.5 tex, 200 meters of yarn is taken for 2.5 to 100 tex, 100 meters, and 10 meters for values greater than 100 tex. The method contains two different procedures that can be applied to washed and unwashed yarns. The current test is performed on unwashed yarns. One hundred meters of yarn are wound properly. After completing one hundred meters, the reels are taken to the starting point and then we cut the yarn from the end. By lowering the first handle, we take our sample out. Five samples are prepared in this manner and then weighed in the precise balance. Five samples of 100 meters long that are wound in the reels are conditioned in standard atmospheric conditions or they are heated and dried in an oven at 105 Celsius. Then they are weighed. In this test, we prefer conditioned samples. Our screen is reset and we ensure that all the flaps are closed. Our precise balance has the ability to measure the sample's mass with a precision of 1 to 100 and mass of the sample, which is placed with a precision of 10 to the power of minus 3, is read in grams from the screen. Then this value is noted down. Thus, the linear density is calculated by using the weight of the sample in grams that we read on the screen. Nowadays, due to the help of computer programs, this number is calculated automatically. To obtain such automatic calculations, the sample's data is put into the computer program and the length of the wound yarn is given as 100 meters. Fitting text number in grams will be calculated for the given yarn. Due to the help of computer programs, calculations according to length, such as TEX and English or French metric systems, based on other numbers that are done. Also, TEX denier, which is a weight-based measurement, is also automatically calculated. Now, we will find the TEX number. The length unit is set as meters while finding the TEX number. The linear density is calculated by taking the weight in grams as mentioned before. Recently the computer programs have been developed for this task and the linear density of the yarn is calculated automatically. Thus, the sample's data is put into the computer program. The red polyester yarn is taken as 100 meters long. The length is taken in meters. Computer programs help us to find the text denier 
English number and French number values of the arm. In this process, we determine the text number. After completing the test process, the value in grams produced by a weigher device will automatically be transferred to the computer screen. The text number of the yarn is automatically calculated by pressing the OK button and by using these weights. The arithmetical mean of five separate test results for five samples is calculated by repeating this process.